Here's the situation. You have multiple sheets all organized the same way and one summary sheet to display the key results. What you need is a formula that doesn't have a sheet name in it so you can create it one time and drag it down or across to pull over mul the results from multiple sheets. Let me give you an example. Here you have a sales team. Each person has their own sheet with their own stats on it. It's all organized the same way. So they could all have, each sheet could have uh, you know, month to date sales, year to date sales, sales against quota, sales versus prior. They could have budget information, promotional information, a full customer list with a uh, name, address, phone number, email address, whatever. A lot of stuff that's important to each person to help them do their job. But you're the manager. You're a smart manager. So what you want to do is just pull over the key results from each one of those tabs that you're interested in so you can get a top level assessment of how the team's doing. And if you don't like what you see on the summary sheet, you know, you can always go into the individual tabs to look at it in more detail. But to bring everything over to a summary tab, this would be the typical way to do it, I think. Most people would just hit equals, go over to the tab, find the cell, click in the cell, hit enter. But the problem with that is it's slow and tedious because you have to do it for each and every single one of your tabs. And it can take a long time, and then if somebody changes, you're going to have to do it again. What I chose to do instead is use the indirect, which is more powerful, more flexible. What this is doing is it's first it's going to look in cell A17, which is right here. It's going to look for the name, and then it's going to go across the tabs. It's going to find a match. That's why these have to be spelled exactly the same. It's going to find a match, and when it does, it's going to go over to that tab, and it's going to pull back whatever's in cell B3. Now, if you remember what this looks like, equals Joe Smith, B3, I come over to here, and I hit the function button. Here's what I typed in, but the result is the same. B equals Joe Smith, B3. So it's doing the same thing, it's just much more flexible. Now I got a one person sales team, but my sales team is growing, and I just picked up Jane Smith. And then I picked up John Smith. And then I picked up Joy Smith. And then I picked up James. Don't ask me why they're all named Smith. I don't want to know. I don't know what James' last name is, but I bet it's Smith. So I come on to this formula that I type one time, I grab it, and drag it. Done. That fast. That will save you a ton of time. And any pretty smart manager knows how important saving time is. And let me show you what I did here. There's two versions to this formula that you could use. The only difference is how each handles spaces in the tab name. One I chose to use is right here. It'll handle tabs that have spaces or don't. And it doesn't matter where the space is, doesn't matter how many spaces there is, there are. Um, this formula will capture both. This other one is shorter to type because there's not as much information needed, but it'll only grab tabs that don't have spaces. So this is not going to work on Joe Smith, Jane Smith, John Smith, or Joy Smith. It would return errors. It would only work on James. So personal preference. The other thing that is critical that you need to see here is that you've got to get the use of double and single quotes correct within the parentheses or this isn't going to work. Now I could zoom into this so you could see by double single quotes it's still difficult to see. So I'm not going to zoom in. I type this little code so you could see so I can explain what's going on between these parentheses. So it starts with a double quote, then there's a single quote, then there's a double quote. Then the ampersand, the cell name, ampersand, double quote, single quote, exclamation point, cell of interest, double quote. That's what's going on in here. Type it exactly like that and it'll work. The other version is just a cell name, ampersand, double quote, exclamation point, cell of interest, double quote. And that is how you solve this need.